Hi everyone. Today I'm going to talk about the emotional side of breastfeeding. It is one of the biggest and most over overwhelming stresses that new moms face, and especially moms of twins. So this comes up a lot, and um, I'm going to talk a little bit about the emotional piece, like what you can do about it and what's so stressful about it, um, and give some hope and some ideas right here today. I'm Lindsay Lowrance. I'm a counselor in Colorado, and I often help twin moms go from drained and distracted to powerful and fulfilled. One of the ways I do that is by making therapy easy and accessible and convenient for moms um, to have it right there at their fingertips at the comfort of home. Uh, no babysitters needed, no figuring out how to shuffle appointments and transportation. Um, I provide therapy through, you know, live video chat like this, um, where, you know, we can talk back and forth and, and you can get the support you need. Um, so that's part of who I am. I'm also a mom of twins. I've got three little kids and my twins are just over a year old. So I've also been through a lot of the challenges and the struggles I get it twins are a whole different ball game and so when it comes to breastfeeding or trying to nurse or pump for your twins um, everything just kind of steps up a notch and becomes a little more challenging and a little more um, draining <laughs> to use you know to use my my phrase about feeling drained and distracted for sure so um, part of why breastfeeding can be so emotional is that you might have, you know, some expectation in mind of, of what it's going to be like when your new babies join you. And um, you might be gung ho about, OK, I'm definitely going to do this. I'm going to breastfeed. This is how it's going to look um, and I'm going to power through. Or you might be on the fence, you know, some moms aren't really sure and they're like, well, let's just see how it goes. Um, hopefully I can, but I don't know. Um, some moms from the get go know that that's not the right choice for them and their family. And that's OK, too. But on the emotional side of it, I've talked with so many moms that have guilt and strong feelings about whether they can or not, whether they can 100 percent part of, of the feeding um, through breast milk or, you know, have to do some formula supplements. Um, and some moms that even choose to go formula all the way that feel kind of struggle with their, their choice or feel bad about it or feel self-conscious about it. And so there's so many emotions that play into all of these parenting decisions. And this is one of the first things that you experience as a parent right when your babies are born so you're hit with it right in that like crazy hormonal you just gave birth um you're overly exhausted overly like filled with joy for meeting your new little ones um and so just talk about all the emotions being right there at the surface and turned up to a 10 like the volume is up high already and here you are trying to um, to figure out feeding your, your babies and what's going to be best. And you know what? Breastfeeding isn't always easy. It may be, you know, natural and something that our bodies are meant to be able to do, but actually most people seem to end up having a challenge here or there or come across one after another after another. And so there's a lot of questions about, is my baby getting enough to eat? Um, how do I know if I'm doing it right? Is it supposed to feel like this? Is it supposed to hurt? You know, there's so many questions. And unfortunately, not everybody gets great support from the get go. Uh, whether you've gotten some bad advice, as uh, some not all lactation consultants are equal and equivalent. And so sometimes the support and the advice that you get, you trust because it's coming from a professional and it ends up you know hurting you more and so trying to find the best support 
some people come from families where, you know, breastfeeding is taboo or they, no one in the family really knows about it. Um, and so they don't have support from that end, you know, whether their family is not behind it or just doesn't understand it and doesn't know how to answer questions or to, you know, encourage. Uh, sometimes even the partner might not be encouraging or know how to be supportive and to help moms hang in there when it's really hard. Because let's face it, the first few weeks of breastfeeding for most women are really challenging. And so um, finding the right support, finding the encouragement and the motivation and getting your questions answered it's really important if you really, you know, want to hang in there and get through the challenging time over to the other side of it where suddenly things get a little easier and feel better and then it's smooth sailing. But when you're in the thick of it and it's hard, that support, those relationships are really important. So that's one piece of the emotional um, thing about breastfeeding that you know, I think there's also a lot of expectations that we put on ourselves and that we feel from society about what's okay and what's not okay. And so a lot of times I think those those judgments um, replay in our, in our heads and just kind of put more pressure on us um, to, you know, be perfect, please everybody, do things the right way. Um, and it's just not realistic. I mean, everyone has their own path. Everyone has, you know, their own needs for what is best for them, what's best for their child. You know, not every baby is the same. Some of them have different needs there too. And so you really have to listen to your own situation, your own um, intuition as a mother and what feels right for you and, and go from there. So no one can really tell you it should look a certain way because that's just not the truth. You know, there's no one right way. Um, trying to find your way is what's important and trying to find ways to make it less stressful and easier so that you can just enjoy being a mom. That's important. Being able to bond with your baby that's important. Making sure your baby is fed and healthy, those things are important. You won't know every answer and you're not always gonna know um, if what you're doing is the best way. And so it's okay to wonder or to ask questions or to seek out help from experts. That's part of what I'm going to be doing tomorrow in my interview with a lactation consultant is we're gonna get some answers about how can we make things easier, less stressful, less overwhelming, and give you the support that you need. I really hope that um, the overall message is just gonna be that whatever your path, it's okay. And I'm here to help. I'm gonna give you some guidance on how to feel better about whatever your choice is. And if you wanna problem solve, there's other help out there, um, other wonderful resources for you to figure out um, what way is gonna work best for you. All right, so I hope that you all plan on joining tomorrow to get more information, to follow the interview with the lactation consultant. If you're here live at 10.30, um, sorry, not tomorrow, it's actually Friday, um, Friday the 24th at 10.30. So if you're able to join us live, you can ask your questions. Just type it in in the comments and um, we'll see if we're able to talk about all the different things that come up in regards to nursing twins. Some of those topics are going to be about um, some of the common challenges like what if your twins have to spend some time in the NICU now, of course that also applies to single babies um, all of the advice uh, from our lactation consultant will apply in certain situations to single babies as well um, but NICU time neonatal intensive care unit that is a common thing that a lot of twins have to spend some extra hospital time when they're born 
what do you do about breastfeeding and pumping? How do you make enough milk to feed two babies? Um, do you need to triple feed? What is triple feed? Um, those kind of questions we're going to get some answers to. And the exhausting overnight um, pumping or feeding in those early days, you know, those are the moments where you might feel like giving up or you might feel like you're losing your mind or you don't know what you're doing or you just can't take any more. So um, we're going to have Amanda here talking with us about some hit hacks and tips on how to make it easier, what you could do to, um, to hang in there and make it kind of a smoother process. And I will be there as well to offer some emotional support and some guidance for those really rough moments. Um, we're also going to talk about, you know, what your partners can do to help support you, how to encourage and, and be there for you when times are really testing and you might think about giving up or quitting or you feel like you're just bursting into tears, breaking down and you don't know what else to do. How can they be there for you? They might need some guidance on that. We will touch base on that too. Um, and then when it comes time to feed your babies solids, you know, a lot of moms do stress about uh, all things about feeding their babies. And so I've heard a lot of expectations and pressures about, you know, well, I need to buy all organic foods and make my own homemade purees and, you know, do all these things fresh. Um, let's talk about, you know, what those expectations are, but let's talk about where's the reality and what's going to make things easier for you and still be healthy and meet your kids' needs. So join me on Friday the 24th at 1030. Um, I hope that you're able to share with friends and other new moms, whether they're twin moms or moms of singles, even if it's their second, third, fourth kid, it's okay. You know, each breastfeeding journey is different and each mom could really use some support. So join me live or watch the replay. Thanks and take care.